All right, you're at LA Tent, and they say they're waiting on me, so isn't that pretty cool? Let's see. Pretty neato. Now, these guys, for me, these guys are always got work going on, so I'll be amazed. I mean, I'd be amazed if they're slow. They're not slow, but who knows? Changing times. All right, the before and then the after effect at LA Tim and Asses. What number is this? What number is this? There's no way I'm at LA Tim and Manassas and there's not a car in the garage. Who didn't take a bath today? <laughs> oh my God. Decision decisions, my LA tint guy Travis saying 30%. I don't know, that's a little light. That's a little light. I mean, to me, it would seem if I did the back window a little darker, I think then I'd be more maybe on the 30%. Just give that back window a little more darkness to it because you can see right. I mean, if you come up behind you, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty see through. So if you want to see through for sure. You know, do darker on the back? I mean, I think being a little dark on the back would be cool. And I think the 30. 30 on the two fronts, maybe? Yeah. I'm thinking the. 15 on the rear? Yeah. You think 15 in the rear window or the 15 little small windows? What are you talking about? Uh, well, if you want the size to be the same, you can do 30 down those. The still, small quarter windows don't really matter. A uh, back window, we can darken it up and do a nice 15%. It'll look like a factory truck. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I'm thinking the back windows. And then maybe we do do a little darker on the two sides just to kind of give it more of a... Two quarters? Yeah, the two, yeah, the, yeah, two yeah. quarters. You do a little more of a look to it. We'll do 15 on there. Okay. Yep. I like it. Then 30 on the two fronts. I want to do... I want to do, do... Do we do a black hood wrap? What do you think? Yeah, I'm at a gloss black right now, but I've got some coming in. Should be here probably Wednesday. I mean, but do you think it'd be... Look, you think it should get the black roof... Do you think it'd look good or yeah? Personally, I wouldn't do it. Okay. I like the accent. I think the grill and then the vent and then the roof is enough. What about just a black, the, 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 in, you know, the, the bolt, the bump out in the hood, just do a little black thing here. You could do that. Uh, I would kind of look, I think I look good. If you maybe did the top of the body line there, come down. Yeah. You can go to the outside. Yeah. I mean, do you have anything that would maybe work what? in stock or I got to wait? Now you'd have to wait. So all you have is what the carbon fiber look forever. Our uh, gloss black yesterday. Man. Yeah. So the other one's matte black. Yeah, matte or satin. But I would do gloss because. But what, what about satin? How's that look? It's not going to go with your gloss black accents. Okay. All right. All right. I'm special. These guys cleaned out the whole garage just to take care of me. Do you believe that story? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so a little special, even giving me some uh, taco, Taco Bell Supremes. Wow. Wow, you talk about hands on service LA Tim Manassas. I mean, I got every guy here works here working on my car. I mean, they're like, whoo, this thing's going to be done. So 30 on the front windows, five on the little quarters, 15 in the back. And then 15 on the front. How do I get a phone call? All right. The before. And then the after effect at LA Tim and Asses. What number is this? What number is this? I'm special. These guys cleaned out the whole garage just to take care of me. Do you believe that story? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so a little special. Even giving me some uh, taco. Taco Bell Supremes. Wow. Wow, you talk about hands-on service, L.A. Tim Manassas. I mean, I got every guy here works here working on my car. I mean, they're like, poof, this thing's going to be done. So 30 on the front windows, 5 on the little quarters, 15 in the back, and then 15 on the front. How do I get a phone call? All right, L.A. Manassas. They just did another one for me. What number is this? I don't know what number this is, but here are you. What do you think, huh? Got the front strip, got the front windows, got the rear, uh, rear quarter panels, and the rear back here. Not too bad. 
and still had decent you can see all the smears on the and I'm cleaning everything up trying to get the windows but anyways I think it looks pretty cool I like it Wow number 72 number 72 tints by Ford Mustang 2024 GT vapor blue tint package at LA Manassas LA Manassas this is 72 tints for me from all the cars I've owned over like the last seven years Wow thank you LA tint you guys did a great job highly recommend LA tint Manassas Virginia you do a great job reasonable pricing good quality you'll like it all right it's so much cooler in the car darker because of the window tint and I went a little radical but I didn't go totally radical didn't get too crazy the side windows aren't that darked out but the back window is at 15 percent the two little quarter windows are at 15 percent or 5 percent actually and the shield strip you know I just didn't know until here recently that you can do these window strips it's legal and this is a 5% this is like the good old days you bought a new car back in the 70s 60s they put a nice little tint on your front windshield they don't do that anymore so you can get that done when you go to the uh, the tint place and once again um, I like it it's not too dark not too light and all right oh the fun of the GT 2024 model I'll tell you what kind of in these rougher areas of the roads and I'm just blown away how this car really soaks up the bumps and just does a really good job it's just a really rock solid car and Ford has done a very good job on updating this vehicle and re-engineering it I mean they've done a great job I just can't emphasize enough about that so anybody here that's following my channel watch my channel until you drive one of these, I just don't think you will believe it. That's kind of where it goes. You got to go drive one. And this auto hold feature in this car is a really nice feature where when you come up, and it's kind of unfortunate, we're not going to be stopping, but you literally can come up to the light and take your foot off the brake, and the car holds itself with a manual transmission. I mean, that is something totally new that I know of in a uh, manual transmission car. I've never have heard of that before. I've heard of the hold feature. The hold feature is when you come to a light and you don't feel like keeping your foot on the brake, the car automatically overtakes your foot from holding the car and the car is your foot holding the car on the brake. And as soon as you put your foot on the gas pedal, or in this situation, uh, well, yeah, basically once you put your foot on the gas pedal, it takes it off. So here I am. At a light, I'm going to go to the uh, neutral, and you're going to see a little light pop on. See right there? So now, I can literally release my clutch. I can let my foot off the brake, and the car is not moving. So I can give my foot a brake. And so now, watch, as I put this in gear, and I give it gas, it releases that hold. So that's a really nice feature that they put into the manual. So automatic cars have had this around for a while, but I've never seen it on a manual car. So here we are on a little rougher part of the road. And once again, I mean, I think maybe watching my channel, it's probably hard to kind of hear all the bumps, but this thing just really does do a good job soaking up the bumps on Magna Ride. I can't emphasize enough. I would not own a Mustang if it didn't have the Magna Ride. It was just too much of a thump you know bang it just was too it felt the car didn't feel very well built or designed okay back on the beltway rolling down the road this car really is a really fun vehicle look at the red line 7500 rpms it has really good power and but you know keep in mind i'm the guy that owns 800 horsepower hellcats and i own the last personal Mustangs I owned were the 760 GT500s. So for me, in all fairness, you know, yeah, does this have lots of power? Um, for what I'm used to, not so much. But for what you're spending the money on and how does the car feel, yeah, it's got plenty of power. And it's fun. It's more than enough for the average person. We 
like 480 horsepower, that works for me. And it really does. And the good news is, um, we're keeping the fuel mileage really respectable. So the window sticker says 17 miles per gallon, and it actually says 23 miles per gallon average. So I think that's probably uh, pretty realistic. It's just, and for me, I'm sure a lot of people, younger generation and others, would be like, but boy, I sure wish this thing had more of an exhaust note. And I'd be like, yeah, true. Um, yeah, but the thing is, you can do that and not break the bank. You can do a lot with this car, but it's right now, I just feel like this car has been put together so well, and it's really, doesn't really need anything else to undo it. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Tend out the windows, and I think that's good. Maybe do a little wrap, a little hood um, stripe or something, or thinking about something up on the hood. They didn't have the black gloss vinyl in stock. Otherwise, I may have done something on the hood today. A little bump on that, but anyways. Wow, what a day, what a day. Do we call it a wrap? Hey, for everybody watching my YouTube channel, appreciate those that make the nice comments. But I'm going to wrap it up here in my 2024 Ford Mustang GT, vapor blue, tinted out the windows. I just really like this car, and I have a lot of experience of driving lots of things. So I think I have the credentials to share with others. Uh, I kind of know what's good and what is not so good. I've got Hellcats. Chargers, Challenger, Scat Packs, Custom F-250s, the Ford Power Boost, the Raptor. I've had Ford Broncos. That's my second Raptor. I've got the Grand Wagoneer. Got the electric vehicles, um, dualies. Uh, There's just things not even here that I own. Uh, the, the Mojave. Uh, I've got the F-150 Lightning. And I've got tons of motorcycles. So I'm just a motorhead to the max. So when it comes to me riding around in cars and telling you the way it is, I'm telling you the way it is. I would buy the brand new 2024 Ford Mustang, especially the GT package. And I think the GT non-premium is a lot of fun. I don't think you have to spend all that money to get the fun out of this vehicle. And yeah, and I've got other motorcycles that aren't even here. But these are just most of my motorcycles. And watch my video for my brand new Triumph Rocket that I just picked up that I'm bringing home. So uh, thanks for watching my channel and hit subscribe if you're a person that likes my content and share the channel. So God bless, stay safe and have a great evening and stay tuned for more adventures at Ice Age TV. And I do send out stickers, Ice Age TV comments at gmail.com and I will send you a sticker. You put your name and address, Ice Age TV comments at gmail.com and share the internal combustion engine age love of what you own with my sticker.